guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a super simple um, DIY Dollar Tree farmhouse decor. I feel like I'm gonna be saying that for the next few videos, I don't know. <laughs> Um, if this is your first time here, welcome and thanks so much for joining me. I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Before I get into the video, you guys, I wanted to show you what's happening here on my channel. So if you look at the top left corner, you're going to see the watch time from subscribers. As you can see, 75.9% of viewers are not subscribed and only 24% of you guys are. So I'm wondering what is going on. We all know that YouTube has some issues happening and I also know that YouTube has been unsubscribing some people and if you're one of them, please double check, make sure you are in fact subscribed to my channel and as you can tell on the right side of the screen, not all of you are uh, signed up for notifications, so make sure you hit that little bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads, okay? Thanks, guys. All right, let's get on to the DIY. Okay, so for this DIY, I'm using a total of 36 wooden blocks from Dollar Tree and also four of these tall dowels also from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna make a total of three frames and I'm gonna use 12 pieces for each. So right here, I'm just gonna glue three pieces together and I'm gonna make four rows. Once the four rows are done, I'll glue them together to create the frame. All right, so once I glued down that foam board base, I'm gonna take the dowels and glue them to the very corners. This is actually easier than it looks. Once those are glued, just take your second frame and slide it over the wooden dowels, and you guys decide how high up or down low you want them. Once you figure it out, you can go ahead and trim your dowels and then add the last frame on there and just hot glue it together. I did use my metallic silver spray paint to go over this, and then using this chalkboard paint and my white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree I just made like a medium dark gray color take it or taking some toilet paper just gently dab it on there and to create the look you want somebody mentioned that when they tried this it looked like uh, gray camouflage um, so I think the key to it is less is more and don't be too harsh with the paint so that it actually looks like a galvanized look now I'm gonna make two bars for the utensil holder using some twine and then wrapping it around some uh, some of the dowels. It's gonna go on the top frame and the bottom frame. It's like this never end. We have to try and keep the mood up. Stay. All right, so for this one, I took one of these little Christmas tubs. It was like a Merry Christmas, whatever it was. You can kind of see it there. Took the same metallic silver spray paint and the same mixture of the gray color just to give it that galvanized look as well. I may have gotten a little fancy with it and probably botched the end result, but either way, it still looks cute. My love's growing stronger because it's me that I'm fine.
that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below and I will see you on the next one. Bye.